Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a prom makeup tutorial. I don't know if I'm like really early or really late. I've been seeing a lot of people getting asked for prom on Instagram, so I thought it was time for me to start doing these prom looks. These are my favorite looks to do because they're very glamorous. I want to do something very dramatic today. If I were to go to prom right now, this is probably something that I would do. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I really hope you guys enjoy, so let's get started. So I already did one eye just to make the process faster and I did draw in my brows. I did do an eyebrow tutorial. If you guys want to check that out, I'm going to have it linked down below. Now what I'm going to do is take the MAC Penalty Paint Pot. I'm just going to use this on my eyelid, of course. So I'm going to first start off with Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. This is a peachy, very, very light eyeshadow. And I'm just going to pop this on the crease using my Morphe M513 brush. And this is just going to work as my transition color. It's really, really light, but it's going to really help to transition all the colors. Now I'm going to take Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek. This is a beautiful warm color. This will always be my favorite brown eyeshadow. It's so pretty. I'm just going to go ahead and pop this directly on the crease. And I'm going to take my Sigma E25 crease brush. I'm going to focus that directly on the crease. I'm going to bring it in a little bit. But mainly, I'm trying to just focus it on there because we are going to be doing kind of a cut crease. I'm really just layering the color till I get it as intense as I want it. Obviously, if you're going for more of a soft look, you don't have to layer so much. I like to do circular motions and slowly drag the color up a little bit. That way, it's nice and seamless. Now, I'm going to take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is when we're going to carve the eye out to create kind of that cut crease. Taking this in the color vanilla, I'm going to use my M416 brush and we're just gonna go ahead and carve the eye out. I'm gonna go a little bit, just a tad bit above the crease just to make that eyelid look a little bigger. So now time for the glitter. I'm gonna be using two different kinds. I'm taking the OCC glitter in the color beige and I'm taking this Violet Voss glitter in the color Kiki. So I'm gonna mix those two together and it just creates this really nice kind of rose gold glitter which I'm really loving right now. I already have it mixed in this cap right here as you can see going over with glitter glue and I'm taking this one from Violet Voss so I'm gonna work in sections I'm gonna first start in the inner corner of the eye and I'm gonna apply this with my Sigma E21 brush it's really really tiny it's perfect for this since I'm trying to work in sections So I actually forgot, but I like to usually leave some space for my eyeliner. But because I'm pretty much almost done, I'm just going to leave some room in the outer part. And you guys will see why later on. It's kind of difficult to apply eyeliner over glitter. I like to go with a big fluffy brush and go kind of over it just to remove some of the excess glitter just laying on top. I do recommend you doing your eyes first. That way, if you get any glitter falling out anywhere, you can just wipe it right off. So now that the glitter is set, I'm going to take my wipe and just wipe any of the glitter. If it doesn't come off, you can also use tape and that's just going to automatically like take it off. So now I'm going to start deepening up the crease. The first color I'm going to take is Cherry Cola, also from Makeup Geek. And the next color is Americano. I'm going to mix these two and we're just going to pop them right on the outer V of the eye. And I'm going to take my Smith 253 brush. I'm going to take Cocoa Bear one more time and I'm going to go right above that. I'm gonna take my first brush that I used for the transition color, go right in there and blend out the edges. I'm gonna move on right into eyeliner. I'm gonna take the sketch marker by Too Faced and I'm just gonna line the eyes. I am gonna do a dramatic wing just like I did on this eye. So we're just gonna jump right in. You see how messy it is when trying to apply eyeliner above? It's like really, really hard. This is Blackout from the Naked 2 palette. I'm gonna apply this on the outer V of the eye and I'm gonna take this Sigma E56 flat brush. That way I could really carve out that outer crease and just really intensify the look. And I'm gonna stop about halfway with that black eyeshadow. Now with the Morphe M506, I'm going to apply more black eyeshadow and this is just going to really help intensify the look a lot more and I'm actually going to blend this more outwards. 
And then I'm going to take this flat brush from the Beauty Box. It's a little bit more fluffy though. And I'm going to start blending right above that black using my Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear eyeshadow. I'm going to take more of Terry Cola and Americano. I'm going to keep on applying on the crease. I'm pretty much just right now applying the darker colors just to really intensify. Now I'm going to take the big fluffy brush and go right over everything. Just to really make sure everything's nice and blended. Now I'm just going to coat my lashes using the Benefit The Real Mascara. So now for false lashes, I'm going to take these by Violet Voss in the style Fire and Eyes. I've actually gotten asked a lot what lashes I've been wearing recently on my Instagram, and these are it, guys. I'm going to go back in with the Painterly Paint Pot, and I'm going to apply some underneath the eyes. That way that's really nice and primed. I'm going to pop some a little bit in the inner corner. For my waterline, I'm going to take this eyeliner and this is the CoverGirl True Naked Duo. And I'm just going to take the black side and apply this right on the waterline. And while I'm applying this, I'm also going to be dragging it underneath the lower lash line. And we are going to blend that out right after. Now I'm going to take Cocoa Bear and I'm just going to apply this right underneath that black eyeshadow and really blend everything out using my Smith 253 brush. Now I'm going to take the black eyeshadow and I'm going to pop this right underneath where the black pencil is at. I'm also going to kind of set the waterline. Be careful, you don't want to get eyeshadow in your eye. That's just going to make the eyeliner also last a lot longer. I'm going to angle the brush and start blending. For the inner corner highlight, I'm going to take this MAC eyeshadow in the color Nylon. I haven't used this in forever, you guys. I'm using my Morphe M515. I'm going back in with a sketch marker and I'm going to take this in the inner corner of the eye. We're going to kind of create that cat eye. You don't have to do this, but I feel like it makes the eyes look more sexy. I don't know. And yeah, we're just going to bring this in the inner tear duct. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and coat my bottom lashes using the same Very Real Mascara by Benefit. Alright, so moving on to the face, the first thing that I'm going to do is take the Kim Thai Ofra Wonderlush Moisturizer. You want to make sure your face is nice and moisturized. I have oily skin, but I just think it's important in general to moisturize your face. It just helps, you know, make the foundation apply a lot nicer to the skin. And I'm just going to blend this all the way down to my neck. Now that the face is all nice and moisturized, I'm going to take the Pore Professional by Benefit. I swear by this because I have big pores. I love to use this, but if you have really flawless skin, you probably don't have to. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to pop this on my cheeks and on my nose. I like to also take it on the forehead and just kind of like keep it in the center of the face. So now I'm going to take the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation. I'm going to mix two colors. So I'm going to first take the color 127. This one's like a lot darker than my skin tone. I'm just going to go in there and do two lines on each cheek and right on my chin and on the forehead. A little bit on the nose. I mean, it's not that dark, but it does not match me perfectly. And now I'm going to take the color Y215. This is one of the new shades that they just came out with. And I'm going to go right on the sides. I've tried this alone, but I feel like I look a little bit too pale. So, I just like to mix this. So to highlight the face, I'm going to take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Vanilla. I was ready to throw this away, but I've heard if you remove the stopper, it can get out pretty much all the product. It is a little bit messy, but I freaking love the way that it applies because, I mean, whoa, it applies a whole lot. So I'm just going to be applying this underneath my eyes. But yeah, guys, if you guys are running really low, just take out the stopper. Again, like I said, it's really messy, but a lot of product comes out of it. 
And then I'm gonna apply a little bit on the forehead, my nose, cupid's bow, and chin. And then with the same brush, I'm just gonna go in there and dab this out. I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation. This one is very dark. It's in the color R540. I'm gonna apply the littlest amount, like right on the cheek, like that. I'm just gonna take a little bit on the forehead. Obviously, if you do like apply a lot, if you're more on the light skin side, it is gonna look really crazy if you go ham on it. To blend it out, I'm taking this brush from the original Beauty Box, and we're gonna go in there and just blend it. I like to blend like upwards. I really like to blend this contour like into the hairline so there won't be like any separation. I'm gonna take this Sexy Mama Anti-Shine Translucent Powder. This is by The Bomb. It's my first time using it, so we're gonna see how it works out. But you wanna use just a translucent powder. You have to be really careful though, because a lot of them can give you flashback. Just test it out with flash. Make sure your face doesn't look like a ghost. I'm gonna take this one and pop this underneath the eyes and where I applied any of the concealer, that way we can all set that in place. And I'm taking the Morphe G2 for that. All right, now to set the entire face, I'm gonna take the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder. I'm gonna take this, because it's flat, it's gonna really pack it on and it's gonna give you that amazing full coverage. This is translucent though, but still, it's gonna make the face look really nice and smooth. Now to contour the face, I'm gonna take my NYX palette. This has gone through hell and back, you guys, but it's amazing and it's affordable. I'm gonna take this color right here. This is like a cool tone. And I'm gonna apply this right on the cheeks. I'm taking this Becca angled brush. And we're just going to carve out the face. I don't want to do too much just because I already applied cream contour. I'm going to take this blush from the bomb. It's called Bomb Springs, I think. And it's really pretty. It's like, I don't know, I feel like it goes really well with the eye look. I'm going to be applying this on the cheeks. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques Dual Fiber Contour Brush for this. All right guys, so now for highlighter, I'm gonna be taking the Naked Tutorials Ultra Highlighter in the color Everglow. It comes with three colors. I like to use the lightest one right here, so I'm gonna take this with my Anastasia A23 brush. This is like my favorite highlighting brush. I like to really pack it on though, cause I just, I love it. I feel like a lot of people can use this, and I love that about this highlighter, cause we have a light, medium, and a tan. I forgot to contour my nose. Let me do that real quick. So to contour my nose, I'm actually just gonna take that cool shade from the NYX palette and start snatching. <laughs> All right, back to the highlight. I'm gonna grab some on my nose. My cupid's bow. I'm gonna take a little bit on the chin just because I've been a little too obsessed with this highlight and on the forehead. Now you guys know I don't always like to do this because my face can look really oily sometimes, but this highlighter is just everything. So finally for the lips, I'm gonna take this Bite Beauty lip liner in the number 14. So you can leave it like this. I personally like a really glossy lip. I already like this, it looks good. But I'm gonna take this Buxom Lip Gloss in the color Princess. The same color too, it's like mauve but with glitter in it. So let's pop it on. All right, so we're done with this look. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, like I said, please subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notifications. That way you guys are updated when I upload a new video. Also, before I head out, I want to let you guys know that I am 
uploading videos on my vlog channel thank the lord i've actually been like consistent with it and i'm continuing to vlog so if you guys want to check out my vlog channel i'm gonna have it linked down below and do not forget to follow me on my other social medias which are also gonna be down in the description box thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next one bye